Welcome back to another video in this Xero tutorial or Xero training course. So far in the course, I have shown you how to add company details to Xero, so your address, your contact details, etc., and how to create a contact on Xero. And then the last video was how to edit that contact. So when the phone number changes, for example, with a contact, I've shown you how to go in and edit that. So now that we've created a contact or a potential customer, I'm now going to show you how to invoice that customer. And now we're going to go to this accounts tab and go to sales. You'll see that there are lots of other options here. And by the end of this series, you'll actually know what each of these does. So let's go to sales you'll then be taken to this screen. I have lots of blanks and nuns and examples. This is a very useful screen once you have sales information entered onto Xero. You'll be able to see customers owing the most, money coming in, awaiting payment, overdue invoices, and also some quotes down the bottom here. So this sales screen can be very useful once you have a number of invoices put onto Xero. So let's go to new and invoice and we'll then be taken to the new invoice screen and just like a lot of accounting software the invoice screen is just a template invoice. We have a template here and we just need to fill it out. So this first box, we have two, that's the customer that we want to invoice. If we put in Essex, you'll see that we have our Essex accountants, account 101, appear. We can actually add a new contact here. So if we don't want to go through the whole contact screen, we can just click add new contact here and add a new contact, perhaps a new customer that we've taken on. So Essex accountants. The date is the 23rd of February today. And if you remember, we put the terms in as 15 days, I believe. So if you have different payment days for different customers, then you'll just have to edit that on each customer account as it will save you editing that every time you raise an invoice. So with our 15 days there, it's already done automatically. Invoice numbers will be done automatically also. This is the first invoice with IMV for invoice hyphen treble zero one. The next invoice we raise will be treble zero two, treble zero three, and so on. You can even enter a reference number if you have one, but it's likely that that will be blank for most of you. So we have our Great British Pound, our pound sterling, but you can change the account currency by using the drop down list here and adding a currency and then we have our other default here amounts are tax exclusive so in this first box you can actually add an item if you want to keep track of your stock if you are reselling products you can actually add stock onto xero and create item codes and things like that you'll see that we have i track this item if you tick that then you'll be able to keep stock of infantry or keep track of infantry. I'll come to that later on in the tutorial. But you can put in like a unit price and allocate that to a specific sales account and a sales description. So all you need to do if you sell this item regularly is bring up the item and the invoice will fill out and the invoice will be filled automatically. So if you're selling products, especially the same product over and over again, that can be very useful. And I'll come to that a bit later in these videos. But for now, let's leave that blank. And the description, I'm just going to put bookkeeping services. Quantity. I can put five for five hours at £15 per hour. There's no discount. We have account. 
So sales. And later on, we'll come to the chart of accounts where you can add perhaps regional sales. You might have sales for north, sales for south. But once again, a lot of you will just have the one sales account. So that's here. If you're feeling confident, then just add a new account here. But once again, this is something I'll cover later on in the course. So sales, 20% VAT, so £75. VAT at 20%, £15, so total is £90. Now we have a lot of options down here. We can cancel and get out of this screen. We can save as a draft for later or just save what we're doing if we're concerned about internet connection or we have to leave our desk for a while and we're not ready to quite approve the invoice yet. But there are some options to save the invoice here. If we're just happy though, all we need to do is click approve and we'll be able to finalize this invoice and it will be saved to X0. We also have approve and add another. So you can approve the invoice and add another one to X0 if you've got a batch of invoices that you want to raise. You can also do approve and print. So you approve the invoice and print it off. But for now, let's just do approve and we'll get this confirmation invoice approved. We can add another invoice if we want to, but this is the invoice. You'll see we have all the details and the amounts. Now, if we go to this customer, so contacts, all contacts, you'll see we have Essex accountants. And I'm not sure if you remember me mentioning, but I said, once you invoice a contact, it will become a customer. If you've raised the sales invoice, you'll notice we have one in customers now because this contact, Essex Accountants, has now become a customer because we've raised the sales invoice. And you'll see that they owe 90 pounds. That's the invoice that we just raised. If we click on their account, we should be able to see the invoice also outstanding on their account. Okay, so we're back at their account and you'll see things look a bit different now that we've got an invoice on the account. We have this one invoice awaiting payment. They owe £90. We have the invoice details here. And we also have the invoice approved on their account activity. Now in the past when I've created these tutorials, I've actually gone through this a number of times. So at this point I'd go and create another contact, create more invoices. But for this tutorial, I actually want to leave more to you. So what I want you to do now is either watch the past couple of videos again, if you're not confident enough yet to add contacts, add customers, raise invoices, etc. But if you are feeling confident, then go and try this and learn how to do it. It's all pretty straightforward. I could now go and add another contact and show you again and add another sales invoice. But it's just as easy for you to go back to your videos and watch them again. Because once you have done one, you've done them all. They're all pretty straightforward. So that is raising sales invoices for customers. If you have any questions, please email me info at bpfs-online.com. In the next video, let's move on to suppliers, which is very similar to customers. It's pretty much the same thing, but there's obviously the difference between invoicing a customer and recording an invoice for a supplier. I'll speak to you in the next video.